Meltano is a modern data tool that helps with data integration, transformation, management, a very uh, capable tool. Today we'll go through a very quick installation, leveraging Visual Studio Code and a quick exploration of the UI. Many folks who use Meltano seems to, or Meltano seems to uh, prefer the code-based approach of uh, leveraging everything in the code and the configuration files that comes with it. But our focus today with the installation will be showing the UI aspect of Meltano. Now, Meltano is an acronym, which is very fascinating. Meltano, which is models, ELT, so extract, load, transform, analyze for the A and the N is notebooks and uh, the O is operation. At least that's what I've heard of what that stands for. Meltano, so models, extract, load, transform, analyze, notebooks, and operation. Typically, you don't see all of this in one tool. You will have tools that do ELT, move data. You have tools that do models. You have tools that do analyzing. You have tools that are focused on notebooks. And you have tools that do operate, uh, kind of your CI CD. And so kind of uh, being plugged into all of it is a very fascinating approach I think the team is taking. But that said, let's jump into the demo. Our demo, we're going to uh, be leveraging our Visual Studio Code. If you're... Uh, new to Visual Studio Code, you can use Conda to create a new environment, or you can use the command line uh, to create a new environment. So use whatever uh, environment manager makes sense for uh, you. Conda so environment has been successfully created. Let's go ahead and refresh that. We should see Meltano showing up here. Let's go into the terminal for that. Our work will be within the terminal. So Conda activate Meltano. We now have that available. Because we're within this uh, environment, the first thing we're going to do uh, to get that working would be to just do a pip install. And it's so as simple as pip install Meltano. And this should get that installed for us. With Meltano successfully installed, let's go ahead and clear this. So next, we're going to do a couple of uh, configurations here to initialize our project. And for this, we'll do Meltano. I give it the project name. We'll do an init and then give it the project name for us. We're going to call this demo hub. I just call it 99, just to give it a unique uh, number there. So it's initialized our project. It's given us a, a project folder. At this point, we're going to see the into that project folder. If you go into the file explorer, you should see the extract piece of it, the load, the transform, analyze, notebook, and all of that is version control by Git if you want. We're not going to touch in, on this in, in the demo today, though that will be a separate demo. Let's go ahead again, clear this, and then let's see the into demo hub. We call that project 99. Once we're within that project, you can do an LS for this. You can see all the folders that we talked about. You can see the into notebook. I think that should be empty. Let's go back, clear this because we're really interested in the UI. Start up the UI and this UI should open up at port 5000. Copy that and go into the browser. This is the UI we've installed for Meltano. Again, it's not just an ETL tool, it's not just a model tool, it's not just an analyze or a notebook. It seems to do it all. Now, all those functionalities are not available within the UI, but We'll see what's available. Uh, let's say so you wanted to get data from uh, your sources. So you're going to be looking at extractors and then you want to load that into your destination. So you're going to be looking at loaders. Then you can create pipelines that link, essentially links your extractors to your loaders. So if I come in here and I say, hey, we're going to get data from maybe a MySQL database. <clears throat> you can put in your configuration here to authenticate. Let's just put this test. I'll just give it a name, the test save this again. This is not a valid collection, but we just save it as test. So that's our source. Let's go into our load. We get data into Snowflake. And what we're going to do here is add the Snowflake project, using this to show the UI from a test perspective. This will be your configurations going to your Snowflake instance. Let's save this again. This is not a valid connection to Snowflake. Just to get the point, we now have Snowflake as a loader. We have uh, a couple of um, extractors installed. Let's actually do one more for the extractor. I'm going to go ahead. I think there is Postgres somewhere. Let's do that. 
and save the Postgres. Again, this is just all a sample data set. So install as many connections as you need. We have a loader. Let's go in, create a new pipeline. And this is what Meltano would do. If you think about a lot of the ETL tools or the ELT tools, pretty st straightforward. They use different nomenclatures, different names. Instead of calling them extractors, they might call them source or they might call them sinks. Different names, but it's all the same thing on the name. Let's do Postgres extractor. Step one, that would be loading to Snowflake. So you see just the loader options showing up here for Snowflake. So you can select the transformation type. If you want that, how often should this uh, load? Uh, save this as Postgres or Snowflake. Now we have a pipeline. And if I was doing this for real, I'll go ahead and run this. And that data should live from Postgres and be loaded into Snowflake. And Meltano will help you with that. So it's a fascinating tool. I recommend having this on your radar. If you're not using it already, the documentation here is pretty good to get started. Uh, good examples to follow talking about how to replicate data. Haven't gone into the full detail of the architecture, but it does seem to leverage a singer and that tap architecture, which some other tools do use. I might be wrong on that, but I'm going to have to double check that piece. Uh, singer is an open source. There you go. So it does use singer as I imagine. The vocabulary of tap is something from the singer world. There you go. I'm not, I know it's an open source tool. I'm not sure how they commercialize this or if they have a hosted version for folks who don't want to install and have to manage this and have a very little infrastructure because managing this, then you have to size it and scale this up. If you will need some strong performance out of it, I wanted to go through to this demo and uh, do a quick setup of Meltano and uh, walk through the UI. Hopefully this was helpful to you as we highlight tools within the modern data space. Uh, Meltano is definitely one in there to be uh, aware of. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. This has been Fro with the Demo Hub, and I'll see you in our next demo.